This is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. Verify that you're receiving and prepare for takeoff. We've located the Eagle. Watcher 2, you're fantastic. I certainly am. And you're going to love this. We knew the Eagle had abandoned his old base, but until you neutralized that last cell, we didn't know the details. Now we do. The Eagle is on Hutter. Get there as soon as you can. We're cut off. Thurston and Gerald tried to get out, but the Imperials are all over the swamps. They would be. Damnation. I promised Gerald she'd die with the detonator in one hand and a glass of brandy in the other. Seems she's made a liar of me. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. You were everything I could have hoped for. Now carve us a path out. I'll follow soon. All right, I see you. The least I could do was send the boy off with hope. But have you seen the strength of the revolution? Cells on Narshadar, Tholet and Molivar, Alderaan, Balmora. It's an inspiration, no matter how it ends. Your inspiration is terrorism. Plain and simple. Nothing is plain or simple about terrorism, about rebellion, or about covert intelligence. At your field, I presume, you don't look military. Tell me something. How much of my story has the Empire uncovered? What have your methods found? We found out all about your little orbital weapons. Your eradicators. <laughs> Look behind me. That. That is an eradicator. Technology developed on Droman Cass and Balmora. They can be grown anywhere. Six dozen are already in place. They'll wait to receive orders at first. But eventually, without commands, they'll run rampant. Fire blindly at cities from orbit. Surrender, and we can work out a deal. Stop this attack. There will be no deals. Uncontrolled, the Eradicators won't hit our targets, but chaos and death still send a message. Now we're done. May whoever survives see a glorious future for the Empire. Oh, damnation. Even surrounded, even seeing you, I didn't think it would happen like this. But as I said, it, it makes no difference. The Eradicators will run rampant, the Empire will burn, and you have been betrayed. Who's betrayed me? My patron. The one who showed me how to unite the cells, proposed the Eradicators, is one of your own people. A traitor in your empire has been helping us all along. Your civilization is so corrupt that it's destroying itself. Shut up and die. All clear. The building is secure. Cypher 9, good to see you again, sir. I don't know if you remember. I'm Watcher 3. We met on Drum and Cuss. Keeper sent me with your reinforcements. Glad you could make it. My orders are to check the Eagle's computers, see if I can retrieve any data. I'll also check out that device there. I think it's an eradicator. Move fast. The eradicators may still be a threat. Yes, sir. Cypher, I've got some preliminary findings. It's not good news. I overheard what the Eagle said. Looks like he was telling the truth. If no one gives the Eradicators new orders, they'll go mad. Fire randomly. Who thought that was a good failsafe? It's part of their organic nature. Not really a choice, I don't think. Here's the good part. I figured out their control mechanism. Transmit the proper codes, and you can set the device's targets, disable them, anything. The Eagle stored half the control codes on his computers. Someone else must have the second half. The Eagle mentioned a patron. Yes, sir. The one inside the Empire. I'm not sure what that means. You should head to Drum and Cass. I don't think there's anything more you can do here, and Keeper wants you back at headquarters. Cypher 9, come inside. This should be a triumphant moment. 
It's a tremendous achievement bringing down the Eagle. The crisis has only escalated. The Eradicators could begin firing at any moment. I understand, sir. Watcher 2, your report. The Moths have placed local forces on alert, and a search for the Eradicators is underway. Unfortunately, trends suggest we can only find one device every five hours. It'll be weeks before we destroy them all. Disappointing, but not a surprise. Damage projections? Estimates are 10 to 50 million deaths on each planet targeted. 40% military, 60% civilian. Even at the low end, that's unacceptable. Agreed. It sends the message that the Empire is vulnerable. In order to deactivate the Eradicators en masse, we need the control codes. Half the codes were on the Eagle's computers. We can only surmise that the other half are with the Eagle's patron. Yes, the patron. The man whom the Eagle claims is inside the Empire. You sound skeptical. I have my doubt that this patron is really a highly placed Imperial. It seems unlikely such a person could escape our scrutiny. Nonetheless, we can't ignore the possibility of a traitor. That's why we're meeting privately. Only the people in this room know the full situation. Caution would seem prudent. Indeed. Watcher 2? The Eagle had been sending periodic transmissions to someone in the Artis system. Artis is uninhabited, devoid of resources and off the major hyperlanes. Our patron could certainly hide there. I want you to lead a mission to Artis. You're to find the Eagle's patron and obtain his half of the control codes. Watcher 2 will rendezvous with you there. She knows more about the Eradicators than anyone. Place is stark. We smell no pheromones. Feel no auras. We should be cautious. Cypher, there's no one to welcome us. Seems our cloaking device has worked. We know this place is important. An Imperial Dreadnought isn't hiding in deep space for nothing. I do have one other thing for you. A Comlink implant. So long as you're wearing it, I can monitor your situation and speak to you privately. Keep chatter to a minimum. Understand. I'll maintain silence unless there's an emergency. Something's wrong. Like, rot within the hive. There is taint spreading through the unity. So, you've arrived at last. Cypher, I know that voice. I expected too little of you. You served me well on Hutter and on Drome and Kars. I should have known you would serve me again. Are you responsible for this? Everything that has transpired has been at my command. My will is the destiny of lesser men. Once before, you were inoculated by the dark side. I will speak now as I spoke then. Accept the gift of your life, Agent, and we will discuss Terror, the Empire, and the Sith. Give me one good reason not to open fire. My tolerance has limits. Your destruction serves neither of us. Don't, Cypher. You know what he's capable of. I'm trying to analyze the situation, but it'll take time. And if he has the command codes... It was my desire that the Eagle unite the terror cells. It was my desire that my flagship be destroyed. I required a weapon that the Dark Council would overlook. The terrorists became my unknowing servants and carried out my plan. Are you getting all this? I can hear everything. I'm so sorry we weren't prepared. With my false death, I escaped the eyes of the Dark Council and of Imperial Intelligence. After the Dominator, I came here, bringing with me those passengers worthy of elevation. I maneuvered my pieces into place. I'm not one of your game pieces, Lord Jadis. You were once until I allowed you independence. Keep him talking. Damn it. We can't fight him on our own. His power is second to the Emperor's. I accomplished two things during my absence. First was the diminution of the Dark Council. Upon my death, my former enemies began warring amongst themselves, vying to claim my resources. Darth Jorid's arrival escalated the chaos. My daughter is doomed, but she is an adequate distraction. I can't call for reinforcements so long as that jamming field is active. But he'll annihilate anything less than an army. No one's invincible. A bolt to the brain. You've never fought a true Sith Lord or a Jedi Master. They're not like us. They're not human. You can't win this with a blaster. 
Throwing the Sith into disorder was only the start. The rest of the Empire had to be prepared as well. That was the Eagle's purpose, to sow fright and hatred. All this while, my eradicators were growing. Now they are ready, and my victory is close at hand. I heard this part from the Eagle. Your orbital strike weapons. The Eradicators will destroy the strongholds and apprentices of my enemies on the Council. So too will the Eradicators terrorize the Empire. Then I will return to the Council and lead the Empire into a new age, an epoch of terror. The Emperor won't let you get that far. The Emperor is... distracted. I could re-sculpt the Dark Temple into a monument to my glory, and he would fail to object. Perhaps I shall do exactly that. I see where this is going. He needs the Eradicators to make this work, but you have half the command codes. Under my rule, all people will revel in fear and anger and degradation. These prizes will no longer be hoarded by Sith. But without both halves of the Eradicator codes, my weapons cannot be targeted it will merely cause chaos. I have half the codes. I assume you have the other? Yes, embedded within this ship. Without orders, the Eradicators will fire blindly. This serves neither of us. Enter your codes into the ship so the Eradicators can target my enemies. You will be rewarded. You will be my herald. Tell me about these rewards. Power, wealth, a place in my vision. When I rule the Dark Council, Imperial Intelligence will have a mandate uncompromised by Sith politics. Imagine a world where you could act with true authority and fear controls the populace. Together, we can create a stronger empire. If I don't cooperate, what will you do? If you refuse, you will die at my hand. The Eradicators will still reap untold destruction. Your sacrifice would mean nothing. I can be merciful. Take the time to consider your choice. Then we can begin the true work. You haven't thought this through. Kill me and I take the codes with me. A bold sentiment, but not a wise one. With your death, neither of us achieves our desire and only I will be in a position to form a new plan. All right, stay focused and don't look at Jadis. How are you holding up? Can we put together a plan? I know what I'm going to do. It wasn't a hard choice. Before you make any decisions, please, hear me out. We need to re-examine our priorities. We came here to stop the Eradicators, but we weren't prepared for reality. Our plan now has to focus on neutralizing Darth Jadis. People are going to die. You can deactivate the Eradicators right now. Just combine the codes in the bridge computers. But to keep Jadis from reactivating them, you'd have to blow up the ship's reactor. It's a suicide run, and chances are, Jadis would escape. decision agent our new age begins across the empire the eradicators will burn cities and destroy the prizes of my enemies all right cypher jadis is distracted make your excuses so you can get off the bridge and sabotage the ship watcher two is in the hangar she should be dealt with i see i applaud you for your loyalty to me you'll regret this agent i swear Betrayal is anathema to the nest, to any society. My guardians will take her alive if possible. She may prove useful. But affairs are moving quickly, and we must ensure no other surprises await us. The New Age will arrive on schedule. I promise. Yes, you understand. The Eradicator's Purge will ready the Empire for my coming. But there is one death you must see to personally. Go to Dromund Kars and kill Darth Jorid. Her seat on the Council belongs to me. What have you done?
done. Whole cities are being torched by the Eagle's weapons. The Dark Council is in a rage. You were supposed to stop the attack. Listen to me, Jorid. Your father is alive. My father? Dad. You're lying. Darth Jadis is dead. He died because of the Eagle and the Dark Council and everyone. Jadis ordered me to kill you. He wouldn't do that to me. He would kill me himself. You lie! After all the times I spared you. But there'll be no mercy now. <laughs> Speak. Is Darth Jorid dead? She is, my lord. Good. With Jorid gone, I may return. The Eradicators will continue their bombardment, and the Dark Council will kneel. In the years to come, the Empire will be remade in my image, and Imperial Intelligence will bring our enemies under control. What about my reward? You have proven your loyalty and your strength, and I name you my Hand, my personal agent in this new age. As the Hand of Jadis, you will continue to serve intelligence, but you serve me before all others, as will all creatures in time. You've got ambition, Lord Jadis. I'll give you that. Await my coming and spread word of the changing order. Spread word of a new beginning for the Empire. <laughs> <laughs>